Welcome to Big Black Gaming, and today we're going to play some Dwarf Fortress, the ultimate colony, civilization, simulator. Uh, this is the Steam version, obviously, and I am using DF Hack. DF Hack is now available on Steam as well, and it allows you to tweak the game in various ways, uh, make some tasks easier. Mainly, I'm going to be using it for uh, auto labor to manage my labors so I don't have to do that manually. Uh, managing your labors is not... It's not a huge problem in the Steam version. The Steam version makes things a bit easier uh, to do that. But I'm still going to try out DF Hack just to see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't crash the game. Let's create a new world. All right, now I don't have a lot of experience with Door Fortress. I have played it a little bit before. Uh, I played the Steam version a little bit when it came out, but I haven't played it since. And prior to that, I played a little bit of the ASCII version, but didn't really get into it. I'm gonna leave everything to default here, all the options. I do have two mods installed. One is see-through smoothing designations. That's just to make uh, smoothing designations more pleasing to the eye. So just a visual mod. And the other one is uh, no aquifers. Um, so I don't have to mess with aquifers. I don't think they're a huge problem to deal with if you have them. Uh, but I'd rather just not have them for now. Create world. Now this world creation is um, quite a bit faster, I think, than the ASCII version. We're going up to year 100. Got a nice big continent here. I can't zoom or move right now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is good. A nice big continent. A few isolated islands here and there. We got volcanoes. Play now. Now, a lot of people, when they play this, they'll do some kind of theme, like... Uh, like they'll only make one type of item and sort of specialize in that. You know, just a kind of forces you to get uh, get a little creative with your fort. Skip tutorial. Okay. Because it's one of those games where you just kind of make your own fun. What in God's name is that? Surroundings terrifying. Oh, it's a human tower. Okay. Is that like a warlock tower or something? Alright. We're going to find Embark location. We're going to try... We're going to try to find something with Fluxstone. Uh, a river would be nice. Some soil... Iron, copper, uh, we can do without the rest. I would like the sand and clay, because I kind of want to mess with glass and pottery. I want to have those as options. We'll see what we get with this. We're getting a few options. Yeah, so I'm not sure if we'll do any kind of um, theme here. Maybe we'll just play until we we get killed by a savage beast or something. Or a vampire would be fun. I'm 
because I'm not that experienced, we're sort of making it easy on ourselves by choosing an ideal starting location. All right, let's see. Click the map to zoom in and choose your embark location. How do I zoom out? Right click, okay. Are these all dwarven settlements? Yeah, okay. There's a lot of settlements around here. Human. Hot. This looks good. Got a nice river going through. Got a lot of minerals. We got goblins nearby. It's very flat. Let's show Cliff's grade. All right, let's get some cliffs in our fort. We'll go there. And we're just gonna get right into it. Play now. A dwarven outpost, you have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Alec Sharast. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook. Provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you. But it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the lions get hungry. Oh good, we're going to have to deal with lions. A new chapter of Dwarven history begins here at this place. On your log, Mirror Club, strike the earth. Okay. So, Alex Sharast is the name of the Dwarven uh, civilization that we're part of, I think. And our... Yeah, our outpost is uh, Honor Log, or Mirror Club, translated. Okay. Alright, pause the game. And let's have a look around. We started on top of a pretty steep hill. Wow, that's... Oh my god. Oh, that's interesting. We're like on top of a waterfall right here. This is neat. I like it. How far does this go down? Yeah, we started at... Um, right here is elevation 38. And this goes down to like 23, 24. That's interesting because I think the dwarves will, will become happy. They gain happiness if they get splashed by a waterfall or something. So we could dig down and then have like a viewing area out here that'd be kind of neat unfortunately we're gonna have to dig around this stagnant water that's okay that's no big deal all right but let's go to df hack go to gooey launcher uh no not that one 
we're only using this for auto farm, auto fish, auto labor. And that's it really. Um, not sure exactly what these are. Auto melt. I don't think we'll make use of that. I think um, we have to designate stockpiles for auto melt where the contents in them are melted. Um, so I probably won't use that. The main things we're using this for are uh, auto labor and also auto fish and auto farm. So I think with auto farm, they'll choose what seeds they want to plant and all of that. But other than that, we can just uh, ignore DF hack. Let's. Um, Grab some, uh, some food. Chop some trees. Perfect. Now... I'm thinking maybe we should dig down on this side rather than this side here. So we won't have to worry about the digging into these. Well, now it'll be okay. Let's um going way down. Get to it. Mist. Yeah, I think the dwarves like like mist. This should be fun. I, my first fort on the Steam version was, um, it was on a completely flat terrain, flat surface, like just a plains area. And that was kind of boring. I like to have some hills, some variation in the terrain. And this is great. I mean, I couldn't really do better than this. I wonder what this would look like in 3D. I'd like to output this into a, like a 3D engine. I know there was something like that for the ASCII version. Um, maybe you can do it with this. Uh, but it would be just so cool to see this in 3D. We got to go from 37. We got the waterfall starting there. Down to 19. That's nearly 20 levels down. That is awesome. Alright, how far do we have to go to get... Okay. To get stone. Not very far. Um... Let's put some, uh, let's put a farming designation. Digging, tree chopping, planting. Workshops. Zones. Thank you. Uh, actually, no farming yet. First, I think we should get stockpiles set up so we can disassemble our wagon here. Maybe a food stockpile and somewhere for them to meet 
and eat. Let's see, we got loam, clay, loam, bauxite. Okay, this level will be good. Can we do double doors? Hmm, I don't remember if you can do double doors or not. I'm gonna have a like a tavern area right here or a meeting hall area. There we go. Now, down here will be like food stockpiles. I don't want it too far. Get rid of that designation. Oh, how do we get rid of it? Erase? Hey, there we go. Um, that looks fine. Yeah, we can extend this down when needed. You all keep them busy. You all finish your tasks. I gotta give you more stuff to do. Chop down those trees. You guys itching for work to do? Fine. Constructions. Bridge. There we go. Hold on a minute. Rough mudstone bridge. What did I choose? What did I choose as a construction? Let me try that again. I'm trying to get a feel for the um, for the controls here. Um, okay, building material. Any material. Let's um What do we have most of? Hide unavailable on. Oh, this is neat. I don't remember this. This must be new. This wasn't here in the initial Steam release. What do we have the most of? Date palm wood willow. Willow's a good choice. Okay, so I can just check these off, and it'll use Willow. Escape done. Okay, let's check edit filters. Stone, no. Just Willow. Okay. Okay. 
We'll see what happens. Let's do some more gathering here. Yeah, this auto labor is working really well. Initially, um, before auto labor, I would have to set like who's mining, who does mining, who does gathering and all of that uh, manually. And once you get all those set, it's not a big deal. But this just chooses the right person for the job, pretty much. DF hack is a, a great tool. Again, not necessary to play the game. You can play the game without it just fine. Uh, still a great tool. What are these? These things scare me. Giant tortoise. Alright, well... Um... Stay away from... Stay away from my base. Please. Now we'll go two levels down and This will be where we will uh, do some crafting. We'll have wood brought here. And a few uh, workshops. You guys aren't getting in, in, in fights with the uh, tortoises, are you? Yeah, they're, they're doing fine. Stingray is fighting. Uh, these are old messages, I think. All right, this level. Let's see, this will be processed food. I suppose I could... Now, I want to do the food crafting on a different level. Okay, so we'll do it up here. Let's see, it's nine, do one more, like that. One, two, three, yeah, okay. That'll work. I'm sort of kind of planning something out here, but um, it's not really going to look that amazing or pretty. I'm going to have the workshops pretty much next to each other. And uh, I think now they can move through workshops. Workshops don't block, block them. So we can do that safely, have the workshops right next to each other. And the dwarves can just walk through them. Yeah, this uh, digging will take a while. 
but we can uh, practice setting up a stockpile. Uh, play stockpile. Click on the play area to paint stockpile. Accept. Uh, food. Food. Now let's, um, Max barrels? Do we want to... Barrels are for food. Do we want to max it out, though? Is there... Is there a reason not to do that? I'm not sure. If all food that we want in here can be stored in barrels, then really there's no reason not to max it out. Uh, now, if we go custom, do we want to modify this at all? Obviously, we don't want any rotten food. No, okay. Yeah, rotten food would be uh, refuse. And it just rots away, I think. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, so just food is fine. All right, let's uh, set up a pen pasture. There you go, accept. Click on it. Okay, add animals here. Select animals to be placed in the pasture zone. They will stay here after being led here. Do we have any animals? Yeah, lamb, goat, water buffalo, yak, cow, turkey, horse. We'll pasture all of those. Okay. Do we want a pasture... down here for cats so they take care of mice and rats around our food I guess there's no harm in doing that alright we can now set up a meeting area here which we will turn into later um, into a, a dining hall Yeah, this um, Steam release is pretty pretty awesome. Some people can... Some people don't mind the ASCII graphics. They can deal with it, or they actually prefer it. Um, which uh, is... You know... If, you, if, if you're one of those people, I mean... More power to you. And I, I actually envy you. Uh, I wish I could, but I, I just couldn't couldn't do it man it was it was too abstract and I just couldn't see what was going on I guess it's like the matrix where you just stare at it long enough and eventually you'll you'll get used to it why is there a water buffalo there bring him up here Stray water buffalo. Ah, there you are. Yep, 
There they are. They're filling up our food stores. Now at this point, let's start building some workshops. We want a carpenter. We want two carpenters. And we want... Ah, there we go. Crafts, I think. Whoops. Let's dig out some more of that area. I think the less uh, walls and doorways they have to path around, the more efficient their pathfinding will be. So the storage and crafting areas, I like to just dig it out completely. Oh, these are made out of what? rock salt? Oh, that's why they're pink. Ah, that's fine. No problem. Now, down here, down here is going to be like our general storage, I think. Furniture, things like that. All right, we can, let's pause it. We can build a stockpile here for wood. Accept, and we want wood. And let's go to custom. That should be all we need to do. Yeah, just wood. And yeah, no barrels, no bins, no wheelbarrows. Uh, wheelbarrows might be useful. I think um, dwarves can use wheelbarrows to transport wood. Make a wheelbarrow. Make a bed. I'm going to try to try to get all my um, beds made out of the same wood. Although that might wind up being kind of boring. I don't know. Avocado wood. Do it. Repeat. Uh, and doors. Willow doors. Repeat. I think it'll, if I click repeat, it'll make a bed, then a willow door. And then will it repeat through all of them? Or will it just get stuck on making the bed? We'll find out. I think it'll go through all of them. And pretty soon, pretty soon we'll get our uh, noble set up, managers and all that. We can do that now, actually. Even though we don't have uh, work spaces for them. Nobles and administrators. We need a broker.
Uh, who's good at bookkeeping? Olin. Okay. Manager. Lore. Broker. I'm going to choose Mebzuth. Uh, no, I'll choose Lore. I just don't like having Lore have all of this, um, all of these responsibilities. But he's so good at everything. That'll be fine. Alright, and we will have to get them their own uh, quarters and workplaces. Broker needs a study. Yeah, they all need uh, studies. Okay, that's no problem. Uh, next time, we'll get their living quarters set up, and we'll get uh, we'll get our nobles set up. Yeah, it looks like they're going through this uh, make willow door task over and over again. Again, they're not going to the bed. All right, let's um. Or they're not going to the door. Let's delete that. And we'll do that here. Repeat. And uh, pretty soon we can... We don't have to do it this way anymore. We'll do it through the manager. And that'll make things a bit easier. Managing our tasks and everything. All right. Well, that's it. That's the start of Mirror Club, our little outpost. And I'm really liking the starting location. This is fantastic. We got a nice river down here at the bottom. A nice giant waterfall. It's kind of a thin waterfall, but that's okay. It's a pretty tall one. I like this. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm glad I took that extra moment to search for a, a slope, the uh, slopes and the terrain before I embarked, because this is great. 